Today I introduced a censure resolution against Ilhan Omar. And the reason why I did that, and I'll just say this, censure is not going far enough. If it were up to me, we would expel Ilhan Omar and deport her out of the United States. Her comments are outrageous. She's acting as a foreign agent within our very government. She said the U.S. government will only do what Somalians in the U.S. tell them to do. They will do what we want and nothing else. They must follow our orders and that is how we will safeguard the interest of Somalia. She also said, for as long as I am in Congress, Somalia will never be in danger. Its waters will not be stolen by Ethiopia or others. Sleep in comfort knowing I am here to protect the interest of Somalia from inside the U.S. system. Ilhan Omar needs to be censured, but censure is not enough. I'm telling you right now, she is acting as a foreign agent on behalf of a foreign country. Our country is going to be taken over from the inside. She's not the only one. Look at Joe Biden. We're investigating Joe Biden for his family getting paid millions of dollars for him acting in the interest of other countries and, to, and getting rich by it. We're talking about Ukraine and Burisma. He got a, a prosecutor, Victor Shokin, fired in Ukraine and his family took millions of dollars for that. That's acting in the interest of a foreign country. That's being a foreign agent inside our government. We can move on. There's others here like that. Rashida Tlaib, she does everything she can to act in the interest of Hamas over in Gaza. She literally voted to allow Hamas terrorists to come into our country. She made that vote along with Cori Bush. Cori Bush is acting in the interest of terrorists. Rashida Tlaib and Cori Bush acting in the interest of terrorists. For as long as this continues and we allow people to serve in our government, acting as foreign agents on the in, on the for the interest and for the good of foreign countries and foreign peoples, our country is not safe. Ilhan Omar needs to be censured. I urge my colleagues to vote to censure her, but I also urge my colleagues that we need to join together to stop foreign agents serving in our government in the interests of foreign countries. We serve the United States of America, and that's it. We serve the American people and no other people. That's how our country needs to get back on track, and that's the only way we'll save our country.